Pretty your uh, 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 conversation like already. Speed dating. This is it's not going like well for you. Get it. out of the state. So I have to ask right away. Um, what was your reaction when you kind of you got to you know work with or just be in a film with such an amazing cast of characters going to become a part of the story? Like this? Well, yeah, I have always wanted to be a part of Teen Titans Go, and I, I played Mandy on The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, so she sounds a lot like Raven. And so I was doing that voice all the time, and people would say, "Oh my God, are you Raven?" And I would say, "Yes, I was." <laughs> so um, <laughs> no, I was always wanted to be part of Teen Titans Go. So when I found out, I got to be part of it. I was so excited. And then I was like, Mrs. Claus, how does she in this movie? And I realized what a crazy story and how interwoven everything is. And, and Mrs. Claus is a very, very mean Mrs. Claus. She's not nice. You would expect her to be baking cookies, but no. <laughs> so I wonder, um, with your previous um, acting experience, how did you use some of that stuff from the past to kind of like, help build and do this character? Oh gosh, well, I, I've been doing like crazy characters in theater and then all through my voiceover career for so long that you know you just pull from different things. Well, when I first was heard that I was going to be playing Mrs. Claus, I thought I'd play her a little bit more like that and a nice little old lady, but no, she's not nice at all. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> How was it playing like this version of Mrs. Claus? Because we all imagine her as, as like, like the baking cookies, always have a smile on her face. So what was it like getting into this version of the character that really no one yeah. really sees coming? I know. <laughs> um, well, I have a long history of playing villains. I played um, Azula on Avatar The Last oh. Airbender, and I played Vicky on The Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> I've been being mean to Tara for quite some time, um, so it, I just fell right into this villain. Um, it was at first it was a little bit of an adjustment, but I, I love villains are so so satisfying because you have to pretend to be nice all the time, and it's so exhausting. We all know who we really are inside. Would this Mrs. Claus kill her husband to take over the North Pole? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past me, honestly. I wouldn't. I might be a poison cookie in there somewhere. Do you have a tendency to want to tear stall? on opposite sides of, you know, at the same job, we had, like, antagonists and protagonists. Yeah. Do you guys enjoy that, or do you guys enjoy it? You guys really hate each other. <laughs> no, we really love each other. We've been working. She was like at my first voiceover job for Rugrats. I came in and, I, and she was like, sit by me. And then that was, we've been on so many things together. We, I was saying the other day, like, she's, we've kind of grown up together. Like, it's been 20 years, 22 years I've been doing voiceovers, and she was at my first job. So, and we got to promote Unikitty together last year. And I play Buffy Corn, and she's Unikitty. And, um, and then we do, uh, we do DC Superhero Girls together, which we promoted together yesterday. So, no, I love her. She's great. Yeah, we, we pretend to be rivals all the time. I'm always like, we, on Twitter, we like write to each other just like funny little like catty remarks. The first day I got my makeup done and it was just not, it was not holding up. And it was just like all of my face and smearing and everything. And I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, my makeup. I don't know. You know, and so she, she had taken a photo of the side of my face with all my makeup smeared. And she just kept texting me that picture of the close-up. <laughs> sometimes closer up, sometimes, you know, and I was like, you are, anyway, yeah. So we're, we're funny, funny antagonists, but we love each other. After 20 years and so many characters, is there anybody that you haven't played yet? Oh my gosh. Well, limited uh, to the DC universe? Oh, limited to the DC. Oh gosh. Um, or not. Well, I've always loved Snow White, and I, I like that vintage, and of course my hair is like Snow White, and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to, I'm cosplaying Snow White right now. I just realized <laughs> this right now, guys. Um, no, but I used to play her in college, and um, at kids' parties, Snow White, and I, and I would do the little voice, and oh, these little men, oh, I'm wishing, I'm wishing. Or the one I love. You know, and so I love Snow White, and um, I've always wanted to do that. And when the voice match comes around again, I'm going to try. But yeah, so that would be cool. But DC's universe, I love playing Catwoman, and I love... I love playing Wonder Woman too, and, and and in DC Superhero Girls, I've just started being able to play Giganta, which I've always wanted to play her, and Lois Lane. So I've got the DC universe covered. All the, all the things. I, what did I make? I made a weird. I'm like, anyway, I've got a lot. I've got ADD, so I'm like all over the place. <laughs> yes. Oh God. You have to heavily edit this. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. I think. Did you tell me to go? No. He, he gave me some. Kind of walk away. I know. I guess, I mean, if nobody else is here, I'll still talk if anybody has any more questions. They're like, well, we're done. Well, I mean, like, I'm surprised that you're not, because Team Guys goes through an open show, I'm surprised you're not going to come out already. Is this your first voice out? For this, yeah. I think Tara is behind it. I think she's not let me be on this. I think Tara's a good voice in her voice. I, I played Todd McNulty, he was the kid who talked all about like that, and I, and I 
also played Reptar the one time that he came to life. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I was always fun to do the Reptar in Ice episode. That was pretty goddamn funny. Yes, <laughs> yes. They're still releasing like Reptar and Rugrats merchandise. I it's know. So I have and signed I a lot of those pops, you know, those those Funko pops. I love those things. And yeah, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well. One guy had a weird style of directing, and he wanted to be in the booth. I think he was like uh, someone who normally did TV shows and stuff. Not he didn't do like voiceover directing, and so he got into the booth with me, and he was like standing really close to me, and I'm like, okay, this is weird, you know. And he's right there, and he was like, okay, and action. He would like point his finger. <laughs> it was very weird. It was, and it was a show that was horrible that people actually make fun of. That they found it on YouTube, and it's called like the, it's a Christmas special, and it's like the. Something street kids or the like. Uh, oh gosh, it's like it's this Christmas special and it's terrible. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Look up my, look up my, yeah.